Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a Google Chrome version upgrade rolling out version 136. And this latest release rolled out once again late yesterday in my part of the world on the 29th of April. And this is, give or take, the same update I posted on when it was still in the early stable release a week or so ago. There are one or two slight differences. Now, because we are dealing with a version upgrade, let's double check our browsers up to date by heading to our main menu, Help, about Google Chrome. Latest version 136.0.7103.49 or 0.48 if you are running Windows and Mac. And that point release will be 0.59 if you are on Linux. Now with version 136, we get eight security fixes that have rolled out. And this will also be our weekly security fixes that are rolling out. And there's only one high severity flaw that's been patched, which is good news. There are no criticals and there are no zero days exploited in the wild. And the high severity flaw is heap buffer overflow in HTML. And then the rest are mediums and lows. So eight security fixes have rolled out in total with version 136. Now, focusing on what's new in the browser. First of all, Google is fixing a 20-year-old browser history leak that's been around in the browser for the last two decades. And in version 136, Google has implemented a significant privacy enhancement by partitioning the history of visited links. Okay, so if we just head over to a graphic, and just to explain, before partitioning, when you clicked a link, that's what would happen, and then it would show as visited on every site displaying that link. So this is what we are talking about. This means that websites can no longer detect which URLs a user has previously visited across different sites, like it could here at the bottom. This is achieved through a triple key partitioning system. So what this does is this change makes a lot of the history sniffing attacks obsolete and significantly improves user privacy. So this is really under the hood um, enhancement that's taking place. So basically what it means is a website can only see which links you visited on that specific site, not like it could previously on different sites. Now if we just dive a little bit deeper into what is happening here, this issue wasn't just a privacy concern, but also introduced a series of security risks that could enable things like tracking, profiling and phishing, which is not a good thing. So it's also going to help with um, those issues. And basically what this means at the end of the day is that this ensures that a link will only appear as visited on the same site and in the same frame origin where you previously clicked it, which eliminates cross-site history leaks. So um, I think that's a nice security and privacy improvement that's really taking place under the hood. And then they're also rolling out H265, which is HEVC codec support in WebRTC. Now, WebRTC, if you don't know what that is, just a quick recap, it stands for Web Real-Time Communication. And basically, it's a free open source project that provides web browsers and mobile apps with real-time communication capabilities. So that's where this is rolling out. And basically, H.265 is a newer codec that has increased compression efficiency, basically higher quality uh, per bitrate relative to older generation codecs like VP8 and H.264. And it also has very strong hardware support going back over a decade. So um, that's, I think, also a nice move uh, in the right direction. And then over and above that, there is a little change that has been spotted that's rolled out for your password manager. So if we head into our main menu, head to passwords and autofill, Google Password Manager, and we head over to settings. There is a new setting which says automatically create a pass key to sign in faster. Now a pass key, in case you're wondering what that is, basically it's a type of digital credential designed to replace passwords, which utilizes your device's security features like fingerprint or facial recognition or PIN to authenticate you, which eliminates the need to remember and type passwords. 
and the description reads allow sites and apps to upgrade existing accounts to use pass keys now this is on by default so if you don't want that to happen you need to turn this off toggle that off okay but i'm just bringing this to your attention that this is a new setting that is rolled out with version 136 and i have noticed with version 136 and um, the official release rolling out now that there are two features i thought would roll out when i posted the early stable the first is the fluent scroll bars um, don't seem to have rolled out and the cast button which i thought would be added to the toolbar options has still not arrived so those two at this stage don't look like they've made it into version 136 but guys that's more or less what's new in google chrome 136 which is our latest stable release so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one